Hi, I'm Cheryl Sloboda from SoMuchCosplay.com, and I'm a lifelong uh, quilter, fiber artist, and costumer. And today we're going to be making a cosplay skirt that is convertible with grommets. So what I've done is I've created my skirt using a commercial pattern. Now the commercial pattern that I'm using has stays in it, but they aren't able to be adjusted past a particular spot. And I actually want to be able to raise or lower my skirt depending on whatever cosplay I'm making on that particular day. So for me to do that, I create the skirt up to a certain point in the pattern. And where we stop is going to be in the instructions that you'll be able to find online. So the next thing I'm going to do is to lay out on my skirt where I want all of my grommets to be. For me to do that, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure from the waistband, I'm going to measure down 12 inches. And so I'm gonna flip this over and measure this down 12 inches. Now because I want this, the uh, particular swag effect to happen on the front of the skirt, I'm actually going to follow the seam lines on the actual skirt that are on the sides. And I'm going to measure in six inches. And so my very first point where I'm going to create a grommet is going to happen right there. And I'm going to just mark it with my marking pencil, and then I'm going to make a mark every two inches down the length of this skirt. And I'll keep moving my ruler down the length of the skirt, and so you get the idea. I'm just going to keep going all the way down. Next, we need to make holes for our grommets. The grommet setting tool that I'm using has two different sets of heads. One set of the heads has a cutting device, and the other set of heads are the actual grommet setting tool itself. So if you're familiar at all with how grommets work, there is a male end and a female end. And the male end actually has the tube portion that folds over to the back and creates the stop where the grommet uh, backing doesn't come off. And this, the male end, would be considered the front of your garment. So if you um, are setting your grommets, you want to make sure that this is going to be on top. So what I'm going to do first is create the holes that I've marked. Now the grommet setting tool itself um, doesn't have a very big neck to be able to get into this portion, but we will be able to get it all the way down. And then you're going to squeeze it really, really hard and you're going to hear it snap. And once you've done that, you've got your hole. Now sometimes, depending on the fabric, this particular fabric is very thick. And so I'm just going to finish trimming that out with my scissors. If there's too much fabric for your tool to be able to go all the way into here, you can always just leave this particular seam open. That gives you a shorter distance between where you need to set your grommet hole, and then after you've set all your grommets, you just sew up the side seam as you normally would. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this particular grommet. So I'm going to take my male end, like I said before, and that's going to be the top. And I'm going to just make sure that I push that all the way through. And then the female end is going to be the one that you're going to use. And it has a front and a back. And you want to just make sure that you are putting the front side facing up. OK, so now you've got your uh, female end, and now you're ready to set your grommet. Now, I'm just holding that together on the back side. This part is a really cool trick. You don't need to go all through this bulk here in order to set the grommet. All you need to do is to make sure that you have your item ready to set, and I'm just going to set that the right way. Here we go. And you want to make sure that you are in the groove on the actual tool itself. Once you're ready to go, you just give it a good squeeze. And you'll feel it close up. And there you go. 
So once you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and set all the grommets all the way down the side of your skirt. And now I need to set my, put in my ribbon. The ribbon is what is going to actually make the skirt convertible up and down. So I take a length of ribbon. It's going to be the length of the, from the top of the grommet plus one inch and all the way down to the end of the skirt plus three or four inches depending. So once you have that measurement set, I actually have the ribbon already pinned inside. We're gonna take this over to the machine and we're going to give it a little sew. Now we just have to manage all this bulk underneath the presser foot, so we're just going to get that in there. And we want to get to our pinned section where we have the ribbon. Here we go. And we're going to adjust, and then we're gonna set down our presser foot, but then I'm going to remove this pin so I'm not sewing over the pin itself. All right, and now I'm ready to give it a little sew. And because I want it to have a little stability and not be able to pull out, I'm going to just reverse my stitches and sew back and forth a couple of times. Now we are ready to thread our ribbon through the holes. So what we need to do is find both ends because you need to thread both of them at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold them into a little point and that will help me get them through. Now the nice thing is, is these rivets are nice and big because we're making a steampunk version of this skirt. These brass rivets give a nice steampunk look. So we're just going to thread in and out till we get to the bottom. Here we go. So you can see that we're going all the way Got to make sure we get all, oh, lost the point there. Here we go. All right. So you get the impression here of what I'm trying to do. You just go all the way down to the end. And now I'm going to show you how this works in action. <laughs> so over here on the skirt itself, we've got um, one side already pulled up. And what you do is you take the two ends that you can see there, there's the two ends, and you just raise them up. And what I do is I like to give it a nice little bow to tie it, and there you go. Using this particular width of ribbon gives you the ability to um, create a stop by tying it in a knot, which is really nice, and that way you're able to create the swag effect that you want. Now you can uh, make this higher, you can make it lower, so whatever your cosplay idea is, you can uh, create it because now you have just one more piece in your steampunk cosplay arsenal.